Before I start this video, I just want to let y'all know that I have already reacted to Trippy Reds for Trip at Night. Obviously, y'all please make sure I go check out all of those reactions and stay tuned because we will be ranking every track on that album. Let's go. Shout out to World Class Lifestyle. You already know what it is, man. Squad. Take his chicken, I'm doing them greasy. Looking for me, he better be Stevie. Bust a cap at his top like a beanie. All my artists gon' spray no graffiti. You must have been drinking, do not get it twisted. My Nina blue tops like a Fiji. I don't run to the net, I keep running the neck. I put two in the rapper, no Reese's. <laughs> What up, y'all? Welcome back to World Class Lifestyle. And today, we are ranking Trippy Red's full Trip at Night album. We're gonna take all 17 tracks and rank them 1 through 17. Let's get straight to it. I said, I said. Alright, y'all, I just wanna let y'all know before I start this video, um, I said I'm gonna be ranking the top 17 tracks. Wanna let y'all know this is a big disclaimer. This is my opinion, so y'all drop y'all opinions down below. Um, I would love to see y'all top 17 tracks off of the entire album. My top 17 is going to be different from y'all's because that's how it all is. It's always all opinionated and shit like that. So I would love for y'all to drop y'all top 17. If you don't want to give me a top 17, give me a top 10. If you don't want to give me a top 10, give me a top 5. If you don't want to give me a top 5, give me a top 3. If you don't want to give me a top 3, the least you can do is just drop your favorite track off of this entire album. That's all I would That's all I would want if you're not going to do all the rest of that shit. So uh, let's go. Um. You know, started off at number 17, of course. Oh, real quick, I just want to say, because I was just listening to the album, you know, playing it back, making sure that these, you know, that my spots is where I want to, where these tracks is where I want to have them at. I was just listening back to the album. And some bars that I missed, uh, Trippy Red, I forgot what song it was, but Trippy Red said, I think it was the song with Ski Mask, I believe, this is what I think. Uh, I forgot which track it was, though. But Trippy Red said, put my fangs in her neck, now she can't feel the sun. I, that's, that bar slid on me. Cause you know, get it? He's saying that his fangs. He's a vampire, so he's saying he gonna put his fangs in her neck. She's and then she gonna become a vampire and shit like that. And what can vampires not see? The sun. If they see the sun, they just ah shit. That shit hurt their skin. So I got I got that one. Uh, trippy. Oh, and then in that song, uh, Ski Mask, the Demon Time song. Ski Mask said Bill Cosby. He said do something about like put something in her drink, Bill Cosby or some shit like that. And then he said. Now she sleep or some. He said now she sleep. My dumb ass said sweet in the reaction. I said sweet, but he really said sleep. But I get it. And then um, another one, the the song with X, uh, Danny Phantom. Trippy Red was saying um, Casper, that's a ghost, and I didn't catch that shit. So catching it now. Um, and the song name is Danny Phantom, so y'all get that one. And then X and then X set up in that song. X X X Tentacion said just like the Knicks play with my balls. That shit slid on me too, so I was just catching all those bars that I missed. That I was when I was listening, I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't even know he said that shit because it slid on me. All right, now we into the album ranking. My bad. I just had to get that out because I don't like missing bars, and whenever I do catch them, I'm like, "Fuck!" I gotta say that somewhere, so I'm saying it here. Um, all right, number seventeen, we got space time. Um, I put space time at number seventeen because it was just you know, like I said, towards the ending of the of uh, this album, you can tell it was kind of you know, and I ain't gonna say falling off, but the the better songs was at the beginning is what I should say. Um, track number I mean number seventeen we got space time I fucked with it but it was just you know it's just not better than the uh, than the other tracks. Number sixteen we got new money like I said I rocked out with new money but whenever I can I can barely kind of remember a song and shit like that that's whenever it you know it's gonna be ranked low so new money I fucked with it heavy as y'all can see I ranked new money where did I give new money I gave new money an 8.6 out of 10 that's a 86 percent nigga still passed the test and shit like that but still it's just you know like I said with space time it's just ain't better um number 15 this that track that sounded like that the baby song uh TLC y'all make sure I go check out that reaction uh but yeah that's what it sound like I fucked with the course the course was one of my favorites um and I, I don't know, I just rocked out with it, like how smooth he was. I, I believe he was singing on the chorus too, and I, I rocked out with that shit. Number 14, we got, this is going to be a surprise, Danny Phantom. Um, now look what this song about is. I ain't going to say it's a lot that I have wrong with this song, because it's not really a lot. It was just like one, two things. Uh, no, it was probably, it was just one thing. Trippy Red didn't have a verse. Like, rest in peace, X. If X just did a chorus, I wouldn't be sitting here saying, Oh shit, X, you should have, like, Trippy Red, you should have found a way to get a verse on here for X because I know how that go, you know what I'm saying? Uh, X is not here no more, so therefore he wouldn't be able to put another verse on unless his team gave out a verse, and then that would mean removing some more assets that they have for the future to continue to push X's legacy on. So I would get that. 
but that's not the case. Trippy Red is still able to, you know, make music and shit like that. So instead of doing, I would have thought it would have the song would have been way better. Like this song would have been ranked a, a lot, a little bit higher, I should say. It would have been most definitely top ten. Is that sitting at number fourteen? If you if because the song went like this, it went course X verse course, and then it was over. Now if if it would have been course X verse course Trippy verse course, my nigga, it would have been a top ten song easily. Cause you know Trippy was gonna go crazy on this shit, so that's why I was sitting at number fourteen. I just felt that you know Trippy could he should have added in. I, that's what I feel. He should have added in a verse um, to make it better. But uh, we sitting he's sitting at number fourteen. Um, number thirteen we got Vibes. Now I fucked with Vibes. That Vibes was the song where I was kind of feeling like, all right, it's, you know, it's starting to it's starting to turn down a little bit. It, it not really, but it's starting to turn down a little bit because. The song before that was Matt Hardy, and that was just so fucking, like, fucking godly that I was just like, God damn. And then, Vibes Come On, I still fucked with it. It's 88%, 8.8, still went crazy. Uh, number 11, we got Mr. Rage Now. This one may be controversial, but I just want to let y'all know. This song is strictly sitting at number, what is it, sitting at number 11 because Trippy Red carried the fuck out of the song. I don't, I don't, li I don't like, I, don't, I ain't going to say I don't like, but I don't listen to Playboy Cardi, so... Therefore, his music don't attract me. So his the shit he was doing at the end it was irrelevant to me. I was just this song got a nine because of Trippy Red. It would have got a ten if damn near I ain't gonna even lie. If Trippy was on the song by itself, it probably would have got a ten. But Playboy Cardi was on it, so we can't you know we ain't we can't do nothing about that. Playboy Cardi he did he did all right. It's just like I you know he was just you know he was just meh. He only got a song called Meh. I think I reacted to that shit. Go check out that reaction if I did. I don't know, but. Yeah, it was just, you know, meh to me. It was it wasn't much. So sitting at the number eleven, number ten, we got Captain Crunch. Now with Captain Crunch, like I said, Trippy, he went crazy on that song. Uh Sada Baby, he did Sada Baby things. He did what he did, you know, he didn't come on a track and then like, oh shit, you know, blow my mind. He did what Sada Baby usually does. And that's just be Sada Baby. Uh and then there was two other guys up on it. Y'all probably already told me who who was who, because y'all always do. I appreciate y'all and shit. Y'all always do tell me who was who. But that second guy who rapped right after Trippy and shit, he went fucking crazy. He had best verse on that song. And then uh, the last guy, he 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 did his thing too. He, he was good and shit. But if I'm ranking those verses, it's most definitely that second guy, Trippy, uh, Sada Baby, and then... Uh, well, no, I put those Sada Baby and then the last guy as Italian shit, but I rocked out with that Captain Crunch song. And plus that chorus, that Captain Crunch, where he was saying that his, his uh, watch looked like Captain Crunch or some shit like that. I fucked with that. Because um, Colossal Crunch, like I said, I'll be fucking with the generic kind of cereals and shit. Because the Captain Crunch, the regular kind, is too goddamn sweet. So I can't fuck with those. But shit, still, top five cereals all the time. Simple as that. Um, number nine, we got MP5. Now, like I said, um... The Sofago nigga, he kind of, I don't know why, he kind of reminded me of uh, Playboy Cardi. I said that up in the reaction and shit. I, I don't know how y'all took that, but I said that up in the reaction. Um, He kind of reminded me of Playboy Cardi. He was just like, you know, I didn't pause at all for his shit. Like, he, he was just talking his shit, and that's what Playboy Cardi do. He just talk his shit. Um, so it really wasn't nothing for me to pause for. But this song is sitting at number nine because Trippy Red went fucking dummy. Like, Trippy, like, that nigga just got in his bullying. He just said, let me... Let me go crazy on this fucking track, and that's exactly what he did. Um, so yeah, um, that's in that number nine, number eight. We got Rich Motherfucker with Polo G and um, Lil Durk. I rocked out with this song, Head Heavy. I'm I'm sitting here trying to look at these tracks and be like, damn, I want to push this up a little bit more. But guess what? I can't because all of these other tracks is just they they locked in, they sealed at the place they at. Um, I rocked out with Rich Motherfucker. Trippy Red went fucking crazy. Polo G went crazy. And Lil Durk went crazy too. Like, they all did their thing. It wasn't like, oh shit, one person was carrying it. They all equally did their thing. Um, I do think Polo G, uh, I don't know. Polo G and uh, Trippy, you know, they had, uh, I put them, like, if they, if I'm ranking their verses, I'll put Polo G at like a 91%, Trippy at a 90, and then uh, Lil Durk at like an 85, 88. You know, 85, 86, 87, something like that. So that's how I would rank their verses. They were so fucking close that they were they were so evenly matched. That it was so and it was so fucking close, you know. But I guess it's not evenly matched if I gave them all like different numbers. But I told y'all how I would rank their verses. But it was so goddamn close. Um, and they all did their fucking thing on there. They didn't make a bad song. Uh, number seven, we got Finish Line. Now Finish Line, bro. Finish Line. He went. Like I said, this was at the beginning of the album. What was this? This was like the third, what track was this? Like the third track or some shit? It was something like that. I don't fucking know. But all I know is this nigga, it was the third track. See? Like, I'm telling y'all, whenever I can remember, remember songs, that's how you can tell that 
shit was just fucking goaded, no cap. But um, yeah, finish line, I rocked out with it. He was running like he was running this shit, trippy red. Like I remember when I first was reacting to it, I'm like, bro, is this really trippy red on this motherfucker rapping? Like this nigga's going crazy. Um, so yeah, finish line is in the number seven, number six. We got Demon Time, Demon Time, uh, trippy red. He like I said, that's what Demon Time. I ain't gonna even lie. My expectations for the song was so fucking high because the first, what was it, the first six tracks, I believe, because I think Demon Time was track number seven. Uh, let's see if it was track number seven. It was something like that. Demon Time was track number eight. Um, I was close. But Demon Time was track number eight, and the first seven tracks was just like fucking heat, 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 all the way through and shit. And I was like, oh shit, Ski Master Slim God, I know what he finna bring. Trippy, stay on this same pace of dropping bars and stay with that same hard ass flow and just running it. Trippy Red got choppy on this song. I still fucked with it, but he got choppy. I, I just listened to it again. I was like, damn, I fucked with it more than I did last night when I had reacted to it, you know? So, uh, but he got mad choppy on the song versus the, all of the uh, first seven tracks and shit. I like that he changed it up, but still, like. Ski mask, that nigga, you know Ski mask wasn't finna come on that motherfucker like no hoe or nothing like that, you know? So, yeah, that's sitting at number six. They both did their thing nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? Sitting at number six is a top six song. Come on now. Um, number five, we got Supercell. Supercell went fucking crazy, bro. Like, oh my goodness. That was the, this is that song with, um, he's rapping, rapping about the Dragon Ball Z shit. I don't know. Like I said, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z when I was young. I don't watch the shit no more. And I want to let y'all know, ain't nothing wrong. If you, my age, I'm 37 years old. I'm lying. But I'm 37 years old and shit like that. If you my age, it don't matter, nigga. You can watch that shit anytime you want. It's it's entertainment. So don't even trip if a nigga trying to make fun of you just for what. My nigga, it's entertainment. They watch. Look at the shit they watch. They watch football and shit like that. They watch niggas tackling each other. I watch football. That's what I watch. I don't watch anime and all of that shit. I watch football, basketball. But you y'all can roast niggas like us and be like, y'all watch niggas. Laying on each other and ta not laying on each other, but tackling each other and grabbing each other. You know, y'all can roast so shit. Get your roast game up, my nigga. Come on, I, I just roasted myself, and that's what I watch. But I don't watch it for them <laughs> grabbing on each other. Of course, I watch it because it's entertainment. The same way y'all do, y'all shit. Damn, I just went all the way off track. But like I was saying, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z and shit like that no more. I used to, but like I said in that song when I was reacting to it and shit, y'all make sure y'all go check out that reaction and go check out all these reactions. I would have loved to have more knowledge on the Dragon Ball Z subject and shit like that so that I can catch more of the bars, you know? So that's the same thing with that song Baki. Like I would have loved to know because I'm pretty sure he probably said some extra shit up in there that I don't even know about that I missed because I don't watch Baki, you know? So, shit. But yeah, like I was saying, the song Super said he went crazy and I was getting the little tiny references like he said something about Piccolo. Nigga, that line right there was hard. He said Piccolo and he said, uh, he said, I'm getting to the bread. I could. I, I was. I was going to pick a loaf. Like bro, some shit like that. Like the way he used pick a loaf and then pick a loaf and then like shit was amazing. And then also one thing I want to say about the seventh rank track finish line, nigga. That shit when he said she uh, stuck her, her she stuck her tongue out, turned around and said and spelled run. And then and of course I noticed that he was saying running shit, running shit. Like oh my goodness, bro. That, that that was the the shit that blew my mind the most out of this entire album. She licked it. She stuck out her tongue, turned around, and spelled run. Like that shit hard as fuck, bro. Uh, number four, we got Molly Hearts. Now Molly Hearts, that's my shit. I fucked with it. That was the first track on the album that like, I was like, bro, that's a fucking dime piece. That's a dime piece in a while because every single time I hear first tracks on albums, I be thinking that like, oh shit, they supposed to like it's supposed to be a statement. And a lot of the first tracks that I've been hearing recently on albums. It ain't really been statements. They just been like, you know, meh tracks. But then once I finish reacting to the album and then come back to that first track, I be like, okay, I, I rocked out with the first track a little bit more than I did before because, you know, it was more listens and shit. But still, bro, like, he went crazy on that first track, no cap. And then the Molly Hearts. And then it's crazy because I was, like, listening to it. I listened to it one time and then I, like, skipped through because I was trying to find a certain part. I was skipping through it. And all I heard was Molly Hearts. So I was like, bro, was this nigga just literally saying Molly Hearts the entire song? But it was just probably, you know, just the chorus that I kept skipping to and shit on accident. Number three, we got Holy Smokes. Holy fucking smokes, I got my money up. Cash. Now, I should have paid attention to this because... If I would have seen this shit and then it seems like, oh shit, that song is going to be on Trippy Red album. The entire album was going to be fire. I should have known it. Because when I heard Holy Smokes, Holy Smokes is a candidate. I do a award show at the ending of each year and shit like that where I rank all of the, like, just do a award show. Go check out my one I did last year. Um, 
It's the World Class Musical Awards. Go check that shit out. But I give awards to like all different types of artists and shit like that. So y'all go check that out. Um, but Holy Smokes is up there like top five candidate for like duo, like for song of the year from like a duo, not duo, but like two niggas, like collab, best collab of the year and shit like that on the male side of things because nigga, Holy Smokes, they went fucking crazy. That's most definitely a dime piece 10 out of 10. Uh, so I rocked out with it. That fucking course, holy fucking smokes, I got my money up. Cash. That's my shit right there. No cap. Number two, we got Supernatural. Now, on Supernatural, this ain't going fucking crazy, bro. This the seventh track. For sure. I know it's the seventh track. Hold on. Let's see. Is it the seventh track? Yes, it's the, like, bro, it's the seventh track. Supernatural was just, I would have loved for him to say Sam or Dean, because, you know, Supernatural, the TV show, Sam and Dean, they play on there and shit like that. Um... Shout out to Z, Jared, and Jensen. That's how I know they fucking names. Because other if Z didn't tell me that, then I wouldn't have known. But uh, yeah, Supernatural, <sighs> bro, he went dummy on that shit. That's I remember listening to the song. I'm like, bro, this nigga's undefeated. He's seven for seven, and I'm like, what the fuck? Is he gonna go seventeen for seventeen? Like, this nigga was going crazy. That's that's my second favorite track off the album. Number one, Matt Hardy, nah nah nah. Rest in peace, Juice World, man. No cap. Matt Hardy 999 was just, uh, bro, it's just the best song on this album. Like, if that, if Matt Hardy 999 is not in your top three, I got a problem with you. I have, a like, a large problem with you. It should be number one on everybody's list. It should be number one. But I give y'all some leeway. I allow y'all to put two more other tracks ahead of it. But if it's not top three, you owe me my ones, my nigga. I'm trying to beat that ass, no cap. Um... Because, like, bro, it, it, the way they was just, here, Juice World, you run it. Here, Trippy, you run it. Here, Juice World, you run it. Here, Trippy, you run it. The way they was doing that shit. And then, nigga, Matt Hardy is my favorite WWE wrestler of all time. Nigga, come on, Matt Hardy. Like, he the GOAT. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck with nobody. And he the best Hardy brother, too. Yes. Jeff Hardy is a GOAT, too, but Matt Hardy is the best. What the fuck is you saying? Just the fact they named it that. Then in the song, Trippy said, Bat Cave. He said, flying out the Bat Cave. I feel like Bruce Wayne, nigga, Bruce Wayne, Batman is my favorite superhero of all time. Like, it was just like a whole bunch, like, that just connected everything. And Juice World is my third favorite rapper. Like, everything just connected, every, like, bro. And then Trippy, he, his ass is moving up my favorite rapper's list. Because favorite artist list, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because this nigga is just, he, he showed me something with this fucking album. This is the best album I heard all year. I'm calling it. Damn, the birds ain't like that. They trying to cuss me out and shit like that. But still, bro, like, this shit, like, I'm saying it. Yeah, and this is the best album I heard all year. And it had, it had like, five songs, five, six songs in the eight range. The rest of the songs was nine plus. Like, bro, I, this shit just blew my mind. This is the album that blew my mind the most. Maybe because I was, wasn't expecting much because his Pegasus album last year or two years ago or something like that didn't really give me much. Maybe that's why I had low expectations for it. And all of the other albums I had, they were like high expectations, like the Polo G's and all of them other albums. But this shit right here, like, this nigga, he went fucking crazy. No cap. But hey, man, um, that's the end of my album ranking. Like I said, this is my opinion. Y'all give me y'all ranking and shit like that. Also, when I got done with the album ranking, y'all seen a number pop up somewhere on the screen. Um, I'm not sure where it's at, but that's, that's the overall rating. Like out of 10 that I gave the album. So if it was out of 10, then that's the score it would get got. If it was on the test and shit like that, out of 100%, that's the score. I don't fucking know the score because I ain't tally up the numbers and shit yet, but that's the official score that I gave this album from my ranking system and shit. All I did was added up all of the rankings that y'all see over there and divided them by 17, and I got that overall number. So that's my rate, ranking of it. Those are my rankings, all, top, all 17 tracks, how I ranked them. Y'all make sure y'all Comment y'all rankings down below. Give me your top 17. If you don't want to give me your top 17, give me your top 10. If you don't want to give me your top 10, give me your top 5. If you don't want to give me your top 5, give me your top 3. If you don't want to give me your top 3, give me your number 1 fa favorite track off this fucking album. That's all I would want. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. Y'all always continue to smile because that shit is contagious. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure I hit that like button. Comment down below anything that y'all want. I would highly appreciate it. Like I said, comment down below them lists. Top 17, if not. Top 10, if not. Top 5, if not. Top 3, if not. Top 1. Love y'all, appreciate y'all, I got a special message for y'all. Hi there, would you want this dumbass in to react to any song that you want? Well, he charges $5 for any random song and $10 for personal music. So make sure y'all know that. Continue dancing, bitch nigga. Share all of my videos and don't be stingy. And please make sure I hit that subscribe button, plus the bell, so that I get notified every single time I drop a video. Like I said, man, y'all go check out all of those other reactions that I already did from the album. Go check them all out. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Whenever Trippy Red drop, I drop. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that.
Thanks for oh shit, check out my new mixtape. It's right here. If it's not right here, then it is the first link in the description. Thanks for watching. Now I'm in the past hat. Keeping up with time while putting memories last. last.